Hey guys, Andy TV here with some more Pokemon Fire Red. Last episode, we almost got the Sapphire, but got it stolen from us. And now, instead of trying to get it back, we're just going to explore Seven Island. And because, um, yeah, I'm gonna be skipping all the wild battles in this episode, just to let you guys know. And sweet, this guy has four Pokemon. He has a Voltorb. Oh, a second Voltorb. A Pineco. And a second Pineco. Oh, that's not Wing Attack. Whoops. Not like it's gonna live. Okay, it lived. Critical. Bulk Wrap. Okay. And let's see. Yeah, okay. And right over here we have two trainers. And yeah. Okay then, this guy, he starts off with a weeping bell. And a victory bell. Okay. Just die to my earthquake. Hate you. No you know what? Okay, paralyzed heal. Oh yeah, off screen I deposited all of my items that I won't be using, so I did that to make room in my bag. And that's good. Body slam. Destroy. Okay. Uh huh. Uh. You fight me. I don't abuse Pokemon. And this girl starts off with a gloom. And a vile plume. Okay. Basil's better. That's all I'm gonna say. And now you're dead. And burns level 54. Nice. So he probably will reach 55 by Ooh, Dragon Rage. That sucks. Okay. And I'm gonna switch here because we have a double battle coming up. And yeah. Good thing I'm cutting out all the wild battles here. And you team up with John to win. That won't happen. And why are you guys off in the corner of this little area? That's what I like to know. And Thunderbolt. Just destroy Gold Duck. And make my life a lot more easier. And who is Petal Dance gonna hit? Yeah. And there's my victory for you. Okay, just hurry up and say your things. Okay then. I'm not gonna question why they're in the corner like that. No. Oh. And yes, as you notice, I have my HM Slay with me just because I'm gonna need them to get an item in Sea Vault Canyon. Wild battles are fun, aren't they? See you all canyon entrance. Okay then. And here we are. And we have a double battle right there, so... And I already know what these trainers are going to be using, so I'm putting Bruce as my secondary member. Okay. And... 
cool couple Lexan uh, yeah, Ace trainer couple, whatever. And they have a Tauros and Miltank, which is nice. Good thing Miltank isn't as threatening as it is in Gold, Silver, and Crystal. And I'm just gonna target one just because after that Intimidate, I don't think I'm gonna be getting any one-hit KOs. Just like that. Hey, you're poison, you deserved it. Oh, come on. Fine. And leftovers. Yay. Okay, then just brick break and brick break. Oh, I hate you so much. That's better. Oh, mill taking is still standing. Ha, uh, yes. Okay, that's well deserved. Now just go die. Yeah, move to you too. Okay. And Bruce, go back to where you belong. And right here, we have the Tenobi Key, which is something that we actually need to do. It's a little puzzle. Okay, just move this up here. Move these. Move these. And go over here. And we're almost done. Yeah, this puzzle really isn't that hard once you think about it. But there are chances for you to screw up. And... okay. Yay! Okay, and we're gonna see what that does later. So, ooh, nugget. And okay, okay, let's fight you. It doesn't matter if you happen to. Okay, I don't care. My Pokemon are strong. And let's see, three Pokemon. Starts off with a Sand Slash, an Ursa Ring. And a lick of tongue to end things off. Okay. Just die. Yay, I commanded it to die and it listened. Okay. Yes, I am a master. I mean I'm the frickin' champion. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, a max elixir. Very, very nice. And, okay, what's this guy have to say? Okay, he's talking about Bruno, and how he trained with the gym leader in Hoenn. Oh, okay, anyways, let's fight you. And, let's see, has a Tangela, and Execute, and an Executor. Yay. Okay, just burn Mr. Coconut Tree. And Burn's getting experience, even though he doesn't need it, because he's already a higher level than everyone else. Okay. And just switch my lead over to Basil, how about that? And you! And my shoes are pretty snazzy. And, okay, a Chansey. 
Ooh, why did I send this guy out first? Okay then, Bruce, you know how to- Oh my god, don't do that! One brick break and you are going down. And watch as the health bar just goes down at the speed of crawl. Jeez. And yay, free experience. Ooh, I'm hot stuff. Okay. And right over here, this is why I brought my HM slave over. It's to get this item. And just hurry up. Come on, move faster. Oh! Okay. Just break you. And let's get this item. It's a King's Rock. Used to evolve Poliwhirl into Politoed or Slowbro into... Or not Slow... Slowpoke into Slowking. But it also has a chance of making a faux flinch. So I'm just gonna give it to Burn. And you, fight now. Let's see, what do you have? A primate. A Hitmontop. And a Machoke. So, just die to my pretty petals of death. Okay then, Cross Chop. Ooh, that did a lot. Uh, luckily for me, there's a spot where I can heal. Yep, just hurry up. Okay, before I talk to these... Yeah, before I fight these trainers, just go inside here. And there's a Chansey in here, and a Lucky Punch, which boosts Chansey's critical hit rate, I think. Anyways, talk to this guy, and he's just gonna dance. Dance, dance, chance dance And... Now we do the Chansey Dance, and it somehow heals us. I'd like to know how that works, because I'd want to heal myself that way whenever possible. Anyways, fight you now. And let's see here, what do you have? Leroy. Starts off with a Rhydon. A Slowbro. And Ursa Ring. Uh, Kangaskhan. And a Machoke. Okay, then. I like how that phone call interrupted me talking. Ooh, cross shot, that would've been bad. Yeah. But, let's see here. And now it's time for me to switch leads. And yeah, these two trainers that are right here, these ace trainers, really great for experience. I mean, seriously. They're very great for experience. Because five Pokemon, each of them, yeah. Well, this lady starts off with a Persian. A Dugong, Ninetales, a Rapidash, and a Girafferig, okay. Well, it's almost time for me to switch my lead again, and we're actually almost done with Seven Island. So, come on. And yay. You're dead. And let's switch back to burn. 
and T Vault Canyon, the Tenobi Ruins are ahead. So, yup, these are various chambers in the area. And, okay, I'm here to fight you. Okay. Don't know anything? Yes, I do. I know something about this chamber, but let's see here. Has one Pokemon. Very, very nice. And it's an Onyx. You will die. I like that. And, okay. It was called for. And, these ruins were built 1500 years ago. Just like a set of ruins in Johto. Okay, nothing over here. Um... Before I go inside any of these chambers, I'm fighting all the trainers left on this island. Yeah. Okay, you. Uh, Clifford. And this lady only has one Pokemon! A Smurgle. Okay, then. How did I... S yeah. How did I not see that coming? Okay, this Smurgle is just here to be annoying. Okay, that's better. And, okay. And you, you're Clifford. Are you a big red dog? No, you're not. You're just an old dude. Okay. And you have a Marowak. And a gold duck. Okay then. Just die to my pretty pebbles. That's all you need to do. And screech. Okay then. At least screech doesn't sound annoying like it does in red, blue, and yellow. I am thankful for that. Because that was enough to make my ears bleed. Okay. So, there's one more person to battle left on this route. And he's over here. So, let's put Bishop in the lead. And a missing Pokemon is set to sleep inside here. No, not really. And this guy has three Pokemon. He has a Geodude, a Graveler, and another Graveler. Okay. Well, now that that's all settled, he can just die. And now we can actually explore one of these ruins. Okay. We have the Tenobi Chambers. There's... Yeah, this one is called the Monning Chamber. And the only Pokemon you're gonna find here is Unknown. Which is really, really pointless. So... Yep. Yeah, kind of a disappointing place. But... Since we're done exploring all the islands now, I think it's time to go to the rocket warehouse so i'm just gonna end it off right here in next episode i'll start off in five island and you'll see us take over the rocket warehouse so see you guys next time